What's cool in school? Home edition. Hi, I'm Isabel. And I'm Teddy. And today we're going to interview Mr. Watkins about engineering. And programming at home. Thanks for joining us today, Mr. Watkins. My pleasure. Mr. Watkins, how many years have you been teaching? Uh, this is my 15th year of teaching. What is the thing you enjoy most about teaching for all these years? I think the thing I enjoy most about teaching is uh, actually being at school with the uh, students. What are some of your favorite things to teach in EMP? My favorite thing to teach in EMP is probably building. Um, now that we're all at home, what is what are some projects that we can do? Um, building things and seeing how things that work at home were similar to some of the things that we could do that we were at school. We're seeing how our computers work and how our music works and how our TVs work. And it's the same stuff we're doing at home. And we have more time to do it now that we're at home. What are some projects you've seen from students? Well, I actually collected some of the projects that I'm seeing from students. I have them on a, I put them on a uh, slideshow. Would you like to see some of them? Sure. There's a city. There's a kite that was built. Flying us really easy when we get outside. Um, there's a puppet that we did. Some things that just involve motion. There's a robotic hand. I think all of those were really cool, though. I applaud who, I applaud everybody who made those. Mm -hmm. I think too. They're really cool. I was really, I'm really impressed with the way people thought differently when they left the classroom. What is something that we can make at home? Well, I think there's a lot of things you can make at home um, that we haven't even thought of yet. Because some people took what I gave them and they made it even better. And that's what students just seem to be doing. They seem to be understanding the, how it works a little bit and you get the small idea and then they get a much bigger idea. So when you say, what can students do and make at home, Isabel? The question, the answer is anything they want. We know that you are an awesome artist. Can you show us anything you're working on? I drew this in something called uh, Procreate, and this is a time delay, and this is a picture that I drew a couple layers, and this is how long it took to draw the picture, and then uh, this is a picture being played back in layers. This is for the play, for the fifth grade play, they're doing something called Anansi, and I drew this and showed it to them how to uh, upload it in stages, and this is layers of pictures. This is a sketch using pencil and watercolor and then I uploaded it for them. And this is a, well, one of a couple. I did a couple of them, but this is one of them. Do you like drawing? Love drawing. And this has been giving me more time to think about um, drawing characters. What do you enjoy most about teaching and programming? I love the challenge, and I love seeing when other people find out that there's a place for programming for them and whatever they have a passion for. Do you prefer teaching at school or, at, or on Zoom? I kind of prefer teaching uh, at school because I still like to um, see students and I like to see them. Um, I still like my high fives and I like seeing students run around the school. Um, I like seeing students see other students because they still like seeing each other. And I, I know they like um, messing around with other students. I like, um, I like lime green and purple. And I don't see as much of lime green and purple in um, cards, but don't tell anyone. I know that won't get out, right? Uh, I think it will. No, no. I know this is the confidential news, news story, right? That's confidential, right? Okay, good. Well, thank you so much for your time, Mr. Watkins. We hope that you are inspired to create and build at home. Hi, I'm Kate. And I'm Sasha. And today we're going to show you some activities inside and outside that we like to do at home. That's right, Kate. And the rest of the What's Cool in Homeschool crew will also share what they like to do. 
These are some of the indoor activities that we like to do. I like doing puzzles. And this is the puzzle that I'm working on. It's the ancient temple grand. And it's an escape room puzzle. And I like reading. I'm reading a book called Paint the Wind. It is by Pam Munoz Ryan. I love this book. It's so good. I really recommend it. I like to draw. Play with my new puppy. I like playing with my cat in my free time. Hi everybody. So what I like to do in my spare time is I like to play some Minecraft stuff. So. Inside is fun, but you can also do outdoor activities. I like playing soccer. I like playing basketball with a basketball hoop. Spending time with family is also important. I have fun with my family by going on walks with them. And I have fun in my family by playing board games and biking to our grandparents' house. Something I like to do at home is garden with my family. It can be hard to be away from school and friends. So here's Mr. Halpern with some tips on being at home because it can be frustrating sometimes. Yes, yeah, good to be here. Thanks for inviting me. You're welcome. What helps you stay calm during this time? For me, staying calm means staying busy, finding things to do, both things that I have to do that I might not want to do and things that I like doing. I think it's really important to know what you like doing and make sure those things happen. Uh, so for me, it's um, uh, doing a lot of things inside and outside and talking to people that I like to talk to and doing what helps me relax. What are some tips on mindfulness? Well, you know, mindfulness is all about uh, knowing your body and thinking about your body and thinking about how to get your body to relax. One of the best ways um, to use mindfulness is really in concentrating on your breathing. So finding, noticing when your body's getting tense, uh, noticing when you're uncomfortable, either you feel overwhelmed by the schoolwork or frustrated by things, uh, wishing you could be back in school and noticing your body is getting all tense and hot and calming down, taking some deep, slow breaths and thinking about how do you get your body to get into a relaxed state. What are some things that you like to do inside your house? Well, inside my house, there's a lot of things I like to do. Um, one of the things that I like to do uh, for any of you that have been watching the videos I've been making is to bake things. I like to bake bread. I like to, oh, wait, I just happen to have a loaf right here. Here's part of a loaf that I made just a few days ago. And the other thing I like beyond, besides making it is eating it, which you can see half of it's gone. Or I also have, see if you can tell what this is. See if I can open it without spilling it. Do you know what this stuff is? No. No. It's called puppy chow. It's like cereal. Have you ever made puppy chow? Oh yeah, I've made it before. Yeah, it's got, it's not probably very good for you, but it's got cereal and chocolate and peanut butter and some powdered sugar and it's just some things to munch on. So I like to bake things and eat them. I like to play with some of the things that are sitting around the house here. I make videos that I've been posting online with some of the different things that I have. Um, I like to read. Um, this isn't my favorite book, but this is one of the books I like to read. Um, I watch a little TV. Um, and I, 
I do clean things up in my house, but I would have to say it's not one of my favorite things to do. Have you been getting outside? And if so, what have you been doing? I have been getting outside a lot. It's kind of lucky that this uh, uh, remote learning from home happens to be right in the springtime where there's so many wonderful things happening outside. So I, my wife and I go for a walk or a run every day and uh, go into uh, on some nature hikes as well and listening to the birds and seeing the baby animals starting to come out, the geese and the owls. Uh, we've seen these teeny little turtles uh, running across the street um, and we move them out of the street so they can make their way across. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Halpin. Well, you're welcome. What? Thanks for having me. What are some of the teachers doing? Let's find out. Hello, Blake Bears. This is Miss Monica, and I'm here with my daughter, Anya. And something that we have been doing at home together is cooking and baking a lot. We have made these cookies. They are a brown sugar cookie with an orange and pistachio filling. Do you wanna try one? Yeah. Okay, you can have one over the plate. What do you think? Do you want to show these? And we have matching spatulas with bumblebees on them. Yes, we do. Bye, Blake Bears. We miss you. Hi, this is Ms. Bellin. One of the things we've been doing at our house is going for lots of walks, but tonight it's kind of rainy. So we um, also take and play the game Bananagrams, and we um, work on putting together jigsaw puzzles. I hope you're finding things to do at home. Good morning, everybody. It's Mr. Johnson. And Mrs. Johnson. We're enjoying... Playing cribbage inside. And biking outside. Hi there, everybody. This is Miss Hector. And this is my front porch of my house. It's a really comfortable room. And when I'm not doing schoolwork, I like to come down here and read a book and feel the nice breezes that blow in through the windows and watch the world go by. I also like to do jigsaw puzzles. And here's a puzzle that I just finished a couple days ago. Hi, hi, Croc. So there was a challenge out there to let you know what teachers are doing when we're not in school. So this is what I've been doing a lot of. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's Pokemon Go. See you next week! Hi, I'm Rocky, and today I'm going to be doing a science demonstration to reveal a fingerprint. I'm going to use potassium iodide and copper sulfate. I'm creating a solution by adding copper sulfate, this blue substance, with some potassium iodide. When mixed with copper sulfate, potassium iodide breaks apart into potassium and iodine. Now, I am putting my fingerprints onto a piece of paper and placing it upside down on the cup. Here you see a time-lapse video of what happened. The iodine molecules that were formed escape from the solution in the form of a purple gas. The iodine molecules stick to the fingerprints because iodine sticks to fat and fingerprints have a lot of fat in them. After 15 minutes, here's the end result. You can kind of see the fingerprints that were on the paper. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!